how's it going? Welcome back to Jason's General Store. We're doing a premier draft. I'm a little nervous. I mean, it's going to be fine. We're probably going to do really, really good. But I'm frustrated because, well, we did the qualifier plan. Didn't go so well. You only get two losses, though, so... You know, it's got to be clutch. You got to get those wins. Anyway, we did two attempts. We did terribly. Zero two, zero two. Anyhow, let's get into this. And uh, yeah, if you like what you watch, please, much appreciated. Comment, like, sub, and hit the notification button. And now that I think of it, we got to change our little Twitch name here. Alright, let's get into it. Kindred Discovery. Choose a creature type whenever a creature enters the bat of the chosen type enters the battlefield, draw a card. Meh. I don't know about that as a first pick. It's not bad, but I, I feel like I'd want to have a bunch of dragons first before we got into that. Um, I think the best pick here is going to be Grim Bounty. It's, I think it's between the Grim Bounty and the Meteor Golem, but let's go Grim Bounty. Start with that. It's a really premium removal spell. And then get ourselves a Black Dragon. Oh man, I really like this card, but I think the Black Dragon's the pick. Keeps us open. Could also take the Dragon's Fire here, of course, but... Let's go with the Black Dragon. Stay in black, and then... I doubt we'll wield this, but, you know, possibly. Alright. I know Orzhov is pretty good. Um, however, Band Together, pretty solid pick. We have ourselves a life linker. <sighs> Knoll hunter. Hmm. Valor Val Valor Sing Singer is quite good too. I suppose this is a premium removal spell, so we could take this. I mean this is I want I would like to be in white, um, because I know it's a pretty good archetype. Uh Orzov, but I think let's just go with the band together since it is a really good removal spell and then you know we're not we're not stuck in in green you know so let's do that okay summon undead this fist dust guard is pretty high up on the pick order um but it'd be pretty cool if we could get into a green black self mill. I think it's a fun, fun archetype. So let's go with the summon undead. If we can self mill, say the black dragon and then bring it back. I think that would be really, really good. I know these come a little bit late, but I think I'm happy with this pickup. Or we just go for the straight herd order, which is also, you know what? That's a pretty solid pick. Let's just go big beaters, big beaters. And then maybe we pick up a summon undead later. Six, seven mana. Oh, I know this card's good too. The online Briggers is pretty solid. I mean, we don't want to go too, too heavy with the beaters, obviously, but. I want to go for it. So, I guess what do we want to find? We want to find Ramp. <sighs> this card's so good. I don't think we can pass this up. It's just too good. I, I, I really want the ramp. But let's take this. Okay. I'm going to go with the thieves tool. I think I just start to pick up some. Actually, these probably come around later. I was just thinking for the treasure, but let's take the manticore. It is a good, good, good little common. See, there it is there. Um, 
I'll take the monk over the beetle. I know this red spell is quite good too. I mean, we need to pick up some early plays. So that's super important for sure. Mm -mm. Alright, we got a trick here or just the gate. I'm gonna go with the gate. These are pretty good late game. Wow, this is actually really, really good. You get a boon counter. The next creature comes in with a 1-1 one, one counter, Rage counter, and Trample counter. That's pretty nutty. Lantern now, obviously, for the, the, the fixing and ramp. Decent 3-drop. Another one. I mean, I'm not super keen on this, but I'll take two. I guess it's not bad. What is this? Double team enters the battlefield. Conjure a card named Lightning Bolt into your hand, then discard a card. Whenever you conjure one or more cards, put a wall encounter on it. Huh, that's sick. Um. Hmm. I think I'll take the Druid, Druid Ritual here. Helps us just filter and get more lands and stuff, so. Wild Shape. Look at the top cards of your library. Choose one of them. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm thinking either the lantern or this is hexproof spell. Look mm -mm -mm. at the top of your library and you cast dragon spells from the top of your library. We have one, two dragons so far. Um, I think we probably just take I don't know how easy it is gonna be to splash for this. I think we probably just take the basilic. Ooh, nice, okay. Uh owlbear is solid. I'd like the orb, but I think we just go for the owlbear for now. And yeah. This sent to battlefield, Sutra Vag, Basilic has reveal them, then we'll do 20, blah 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 blah. This is what we need. Let's take that. Good fixing. Beautiful. This is exactly what we're looking for. Things like this. We just want to get to our end game, basically. Butcher. This is a maybe. Maybe play. This could be an easy splash. We'll see. So I guess we just take another two drop here. It's not the best one, but... You mean a tavern could be decent, too. Anyway, let's just take the two drop. Okay. I'll take the lantern now over all of the tracks. Yeah.
Okay, so another consideration for us. More removal. Dragonborn's pretty good. Poison the blade. All right, too. Ooh, sacrifice up to three permanents. If they were, if there were three or more card types among the sacrifice permanents, each opponent loses three life, and you gain three life. I guess we just take it as a four, 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 four. I don't think it's super interesting, but it's not bad. Well, I'm kind of wishing we took that return, that uh, five mana reanimator spell now, but so be it. Each, each opponent exiles a card from their hand until this battlefield. They may play lands and cast spells from among cards exiled. It's okay. I think I'm just gonna go. Yeah, sure. Here, I think we'll just take this gate. Actually, let's take the archery. So, another one of these or an owl bear. I think the owl bear is where I want to be. We already have a fair amount of fixing here, so let's go for that. Nice, we get an orb, but we're taking this Grim Bounty. Okay, Walrus. That's pretty good. I think we'll... Hmm. Yeah. I would have taken the walrus if it weren't for the fact that we don't have very many twos. I don't know what we're going to cut. Maybe this gorger. We could have like a really nasty dragon style deck here. I actually found this card to be pretty good. But I don't know if we're going to play it. We need to cut stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we want to go four color. I was just thinking like... Actually, it's each dragon. Alright, let's bring these in. And cut. Probably cut one of these. Probably don't need this. It's always nice to have one spell like this. <laughs> I could maybe cut one Death Toucher. 
But people are pretty aggressive in this format. So we, that is a, a complication that we need to consider. Just not, I'm not so sure about this. I mean, it is good. It's a good rare. And same with this. It's just not super synergistic. You don't necessarily want to be sacking things. But 4-4 four, for four, 4. Maybe we cut it. I think it makes more sense just to focus on this dragons sort of theme here. Which is why I want to maybe cut this. It does double up his ramp. Maybe we cut this, um... This card, this card plays out pretty well, but like I said, maybe for synergy's sake, we just focus on the big boys. Kind of thinking we just do something like that. I think I like this. Five, six, eight, and three. I think we probably just need one mountain. Maybe two. Just in case we mill one. So let's go eight, two, and five. Eight, two, five, and then I'm thinking, or six, six, seven, six, seven, and then eight. And I'm thinking we cut one of these arcane archeries and then bring in, I think we bring in this devourer. It's pretty good. All right, let's give it a run. What a hand. Sadly, I think we keep it. I mean, it's a good hand, but it's slow. Beautiful. Nice. They get a card out of it, but we get a big monster soon. Not far off. Yep. 
Sure. All right, land. So we have what four mana? I think we just hold up. Taps the creature too. We could have we could have swung in. It's pretty pretty dangerous. Otherwise, we're on a two turn clock. We need to kill that thing. We're losing to the stupid imp. Dang. Dang. <laughs> oh, well. Man, this deadly usurper, usurper, usurper is so good. We have an imp. I can't remember if we drafted one. I gotta just check the deck again. I'm gonna bring this in for flyers. Let's get rid of this devourer now. Okay, okay. This is fine. Turn two, turn three, turn four. in the set, I swear to God. Oh my God, not another imp. Are you kidding me? Absolutely redonkulous. Imp, huh? I think we undervalued this card. Okay.
think we just take the three for now. Come on, this game. Jesus. The variants. We're getting so kicked in the butt by variants in the set. It's so annoying. God. Absolutely ridiculous. Seriously. <sighs> We're dead. man give us at least a fighting chance like come on I'm bringing in another creature let's take out one of these Go ahead. more creature heavy. If people are gonna be aggressive, let's just have creatures available, you know? I swear it's disrespectful how badly we get smoked by variants. in hand. Dude, the amount of times this card has been played against us is absolutely ridiculous.
Not sure why we did that. Anyway, let's get a land, please. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So far in this, like, the amount of games that we've played, this card has been played against us, like, this is the fourth time, I think. Amazing. Amazing. Well, that kind of worked out at least. I don't want to get angry. <sighs> well, I guess we were due for an 03. <sighs> Man, that deck was good too. Anyways, if you like what you watched, please comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one, and hit the notification button. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.